This is the easiest cow farm for Minecraft Bedrock, and as always, there will be a world download in the description. The first thing you want to do is clear out two blocks in the ground. We're then going to place down a barrel right here, and then run a hopper into that barrel. We're then going to grab our blocks and place down seven blocks in a U-shape like so. And then we're going to place down a dispenser facing in towards the hopper, just like that. Go ahead and place down a block next to the dispenser and place a button on that block. And this is going to be how we kill off the cows. We're then going to grab a sign and place down a sign right here. Then a half slab over top of the barrel. And then grab your blocks again and we're just going to create the rest of this layer with blocks. Alright, come to the back of the farm now and place down six blocks on the back just like this. We're then going to grab our blocks again and place down blocks all the way around the farm to create a giant layer like so. We're then going to place down two glass blocks in the front of the farm, and then we're going to place down a sign on this block right here, which is next to this air block. We're going to temporarily block this off so that we can breed our cows inside of the farm, and then to finish it off, we're just going to throw a giant roof on top of everything, except for this one block right here, which we're then going to set down a water bucket, and we're going to get our cows inside of this hole. Alright, the next thing that you want to do is build a temporary staircase, or a permanent one if you so choose, to get the cows up here and for you to get on top of the farm. So now what you need is you need a cow, which I have one over here, and all we're going to do is lure him over to the farm, bring him up that staircase, and then get him into the hole. So that is a lot easier said than done because cows do not like to fall into one by one holes, but you can make the process a lot easier by placing down a wall on these three sides and then getting the cow to climb up onto this step right here if you would like the wheat. So once he gets up here, he's going to stand on this block, which we can then come around behind him and nudge him into the farm. So once he gets down like that, then you can go ahead and nudge him into the hole. So now we need to do this again to get two cows in the hole. And after you have two cows inside the farm, it's going to look like this. And what we're going to do is grab a fence post, place down a temporary block right here, and then a fence post over top of those guys. And then once that's in, you can break your temporary block, and now they are good to be bred. So we're just going to simply breed these guys with some wheat. They're going to have a baby. That baby is going to stay in the chamber. And we're going to keep doing this until we have about 50 or so cows inside of this chamber. All right, and that is about 50 cows. I didn't count, but it does look like there's quite a few in there. The more cows you have, the better the rates of the farm. However, it is going to cause a lot more lag, especially if you're on a lower end device. But after we have all these cows in here, we're going to come to this block right here, which is diagonal to the dispenser. Go ahead and break this block and then get ready to fill this block because this is going to have water in it. Fill this spot and then all of the cows are going to be able to be flowed down into this area. So the way that the farm works is by grabbing your wheat you can come up here and breed the cows and all of the baby cows are going to get sent down that water stream and end up in the kill chamber down below where we can then use the lava bucket once they're grown up into adults to cook them into steak. So if we come down here now, you're going to see that we get all of the XP from breeding. We have plenty of baby cows here, and when they're grown up, we can go ahead and use the dispenser. All right, our cows are all grown up now, so they're ready to be killed. However, we forgot to add the lava bucket into the dispenser. So go into the dispenser and add the lava bucket. After doing that, all you have to do is click the button and then unclick the button like so. The cows are going to be on fire, and then they're going to burn. All of the drops are going to end up inside of that hopper. And an important thing to know is that you want to untick the button so that the cows don't accidentally burn in the lava. So it's very important that after you click the button, you click it again. So if we look in here now, you can see that we're getting plenty of steak and plenty of leather. And the awesome thing about this farm is that you can continually breed these guys about every two minutes. So I actually just breeded them and they will still accept wheat. At least some of them will. But uh, yeah, this thing is super awesome. If you sit here and just feed them constantly for like an hour you will have more food and leather than you will ever need on your Minecraft world. This farm is absolutely insane. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. My name is 1UpMC, and I will catch you guys in the next one.